but I'm going to go the Bears to win the NFC North. That is my pick this week. Um, they have the 27th hardest schedule, according to uh, Sharp Football Analysis. Uh, key games I kind of circled on their calendar. They play at Tex, at Houston, at the Colts, versus the Rams, versus the Jaguars, versus the Packers, at Lions, at 49ers, and then they got the Lions and Packers. Um, those are the key games I circled. Uh, it's a it's a it's a winnable schedule. I, I I see a world where the Bears can win 11, 12 games. Now I know what people are going to be thinking. What about the Lions, man? The Lions, you know, they made it to the NFC Championship last year. And I go, okay, I hear you. But the Bears, by far, made the most improvements to their roster out of any team in football. They signed DJ or not, they signed DJ Moore to an extension actually, so they got him wrapped up. They got Keenan Allen. They drafted Roma Dunze. They signed Gerald Everett and then they got Cole Komet still. They got DeAndre Swift. I know a couple Lions fans are going to be like, "Man, DeAndre Swift ain't that good. Like he 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 can't, you know, find the hole through the offensive line." He can't read it. Uh, uh, that's fine. But he is a fast, dynamic back. If he's healthy, he is good for this team. And then I like this Bears defense. I mean, I, I'm i a fan of this team. And Caleb Williams, Caleb Williams being the team captain as a rookie tells me everything I need to know. This is the first rookie captain Coach Eberflus has had in his 16 years in the NFL. And the question marks with Caleb were, can he lead a locker room? Can he be a team player? And can he not be a distraction? And it seems like he's not. So I think this just helps that football team even more. And even the Bears GM, Ryan Poles, said this. He goes, Caleb is not being forceful with the leadership. It comes naturally to him. So I think that's a good sign. And Caleb has shown flashes of what he can do. He is Patrick Mahomes 2.0. When you watch this guy, he is making the same plays that Mahomes does. And that's a game changer. That's a game changer. And, you know, the, the Bears are the Bears. I get it. But when you have a quarterback like this, it's hard not to believe that that team cannot be good, especially with all the weapons that he has at his disposal. No rookie quarterback in NFL history has ever had this many weapons. It's not even close. It's not even close. I mean, he's got two all-pro caliber receivers and then Roma Dunze, who has lots of potential. Lots of potential. So I'm going the Bears to win the NFC North. And I know it might seem crazy, but I mean, the Bears, they weren't even that bad last year. They won seven games. Seven games. I think they can turn the page. Because everyone knows the Vikings are going to be the worst team in that division. Packers, Lions, Bears. I think those three teams can easily make the playoffs. Easily make the playoffs. And the Bears last year had the second best rushing defense in the NFL and the 11th best passing defense. So, I mean, I expect the Bears to maintain what they did on the defensive side of the ball or be better. I expect that. And the offense is going to improve. The Bears ranked 20th in the NFL in total offense last year. That's definitely going to go up. There's no way that that can be worse. There's no way that can be worse. I mean, picking up the guys I just mentioned, you know, and I just think Kayla being the captain is a big deal. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. And it's... And Caleb Williams, 
is believed to be the first season-long captain as a rookie since they started assigning the position in 2007 for the Chicago Bears organization. Even Justin Fields wasn't a captain in his rookie season. And Caleb comes in with the distractions, his dad in his ear, his dad saying, hey, he wants ownership in an NFL team. He won't play for a trash team. He won't play for the Cardinals, yada, yada, yada. This man has a good attitude. And if you watch this Hard Knocks, th- th- for some reason, the culture seems to have shifted all the way from Ryan Poles, the GM, and all the way down to Caleb Williams. That's a big deal. Go, that, that's huge momentum going into the season. They also went undefeated in the preseason. So, I mean, I don't really know if that's a huge deal. But, I mean, I, I would say this. There's no way the Bears are going to be worse than they were last year. There's no way. And even if they don't win the division, I still think they're a 10-win team. Their ceiling is winning the division. Now, I'm saying the Bears are going to win the NFC North, but I'm not saying the Bears are going to win a playoff game. I'm not saying the Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. I know better than that. And I heard Nick Wright say the Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. That is not going to happen. I truly believe that the Lions are going to have a slow, regular season. They're going to have a hard time picking it up. I think they're going to sneak into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. I think the Bears are going to have a great regular season, but the inexperience of Caleb Williams and playoff football will catch up to them eventually. That's all I'm trying to say. The Bears are winning the NFC North, but I'm not saying they're going to win a playoff game or make it to the Super Bowl. I'm not saying those two things. Not I can't say those two things. Um so that's that's my pick that's my pick of the week. Um and I just also like going back to Caleb a little bit. I mean, he's a leader, he's confident. And we talk about rookie quarterbacks having outstanding seasons. I think Caleb Williams can have an outstanding rookie season. Just like CJ Stroud, just like RG3, Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson, Cam Newton. We've seen rookie quarterbacks come in and contribute right away. And I think this is a guy who can do that. Like in the preseason, he seems to be able to read the field very well. Now I know it's against backups, but that's a great sign because Justin Fields could not do that at all. It was night and day how different those two guys looked. It was. And even Justin Herbert in his rookie season. And Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott was a fourth-round pick. Came in, made the playoffs, number one seed his first year, lost the Packers. They didn't win a playoff game, but he got there. They were one of the best teams in football. Like, on paper, this Bears offense is the best in the NFL. It is. So I'm, we're, we'll move on to uh, more division winners, but I just wanted to lay out the NFC North for you and give you my reasons on why I think the Bears are going to win. Because I'm not just saying the Bears are going to win for no reason. I have logic behind this. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me nice. I'm from another world, baby, yeah. Broadway paradise. They think I'm way too cold because I...